Yo, what's going on guys? This is Anthony with TheMovieBlog.com and I'm back here with another video. Now this time we're going to be talking about, yo, that Flash movie. Now the Flash movie to me is going to go down as one of the most controversial superhero films, at least its production ever. Now another stunning piece of news from the DC and Warner Brothers uh, production is that star Ezra Miller might actually continue to play the character after this film. Now that's really surprising to people who've been paying attention to Ezra Miller and everything that's been happening with Ezra in the news. Um, and it's drawing a lot of reactions from people who are watching and hearing about it. The news is perplexing considering the string of arrests of the star of Ezra Miller uh, over the last couple years. Everything ranging from questionable behavior with children and attacking women. The news comes out as part of a report on Variety that was there detailing the failed attempt of Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who was trying to influence the direction of the DC Cinematic Universe. The news reads as follows. As for what else Gunn and Safran have planned for DC's future, sources describe it as a broad but not blanket reset. At this point, nothing is ruled out, given that Miller has stayed out of trouble since the beginning mental health treatment in the summer. Some executives are amenable to continuing with the actor as the world saving speedster after The Flash. <sighs> That's really, really surprising. Um, so continue reading in here. I, I, just, just think about that for a second. This person has questionable behavior with children and has been on camera attacking women. So Aquaman, Shazam, Blue Beetle, and Gunn's Peacemaker series for HBO Max all could have a place at the table. Gunn and Saffron, who were recommended by DeLuca, have the full backing of the Warner Brothers Discovery top ranks. Now, the reactions online are vocal, to say the least. There are people all over the internet expressing their confusion on the idea of Ezra Miller <laughs> being allowed to continue in a role in a flagship brand with all of these legal troubles that have been following Ezra Miller around. Now, despite the multiple arrests and the incidents with the star, including physically choking a woman on camera, making online death threats, getting arrested in Hawaii a few times for disorderly contact, burglary, and like I said, those uncomfortable charges about questionable relationships that Ezra is having with other people's children, we're hearing that the movie is moving forward toward release, completed some reshoots this past summer, and Ezra Miller might still have a job in the role in the future because Ezra has been attending some therapy counseling sessions. I imagine that Johnny Depp is somewhere wondering what dirt does Ezra have on Warner Brothers that he doesn't. Anyway, I for one am sick of my beloved character, the Fat Flash, seemingly being held hostage because of this situation. A lot of Flash fans took comfort in knowing that Grant Gustin's iteration of The Flash was at least continuing to blaze new trails on television, but that's coming to an end with the upcoming final season 9 for the popular TV show. The Flash is a character with a devoted following and huge box office potential. <laughs> it's tough. It's really, really tough. The movie was originally scheduled to release in 2022, but it was delayed until June 2023, along with several other projects throughout the industry. We're expecting to see more of the movie in the near future, and we hope to be treated to something. Maybe a trailer during the Super Bowl, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Yo, it, do me a favor. If you guys are new here, you like this channel, you want to see more, please, 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 please hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. I know like 95% of you, I've been looking at the analytics, like 95% of you guys ain't subscribed. Do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button. It still does help. It helps us YouTubers with small channels get to that next level. Please, I need your help. Please hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I'm going to have to check you guys later. Peace.